My name's David Higgs and I'm a biker from Blackpool. We can have a bit more bracket there. Well, it was a nice day and uh, I'm self-employed, I work for myself, so I took the opportunity to go for a ride on my bike. Went to Kendall on an ice cream because it was a nice day and I was just on my way home, not doing anything wrong and uh, that's when the accident happened. As I was going along the dual carriageway approaching this roundabout, a woman in a car in front of me waited till two cars had gone past her and as I was actually physically level with her, as she pulled out, I went up in the air. So obviously I was in really bad shape at the scene of the accident and from the witness reports I, I've read since, uh, I, was, I was struggling to breathe because I was being choked by my own helmet. So I had all these injuries at the scene and thankfully the Northwest Air Ambulance Charity airlifted me to the, uh, to the major trauma unit at Preston Hospital, which was the nearest hospital that, uh, that could deal with the, the injuries that I'd received. Well, I think it's really important to mention the fact that the Northwest Air Ambulance got me to the, the, the correct hospital on time, especially as I'd snapped my femur that that's potentially a life-threatening injury. I could have bled out by the time I got to Blackpool. So the, the fact that the Northwest Air Ambulance Charity airlifted me straight to the appropriate hospital is absolutely crucial in my survival. Well, when I first woke up in hospital, obviously I was still very much under the influence of anaesthetic. So I didn't really know what was going on or where I was. I'd already had loads of surgery, which I was completely unaware of. I'd had a rebuilt hip because it snapped my femur off totally. I've had three breaks in the arm. A dislocated shoulder, a broken my jaw on both sides, broke my eye socket, lost a tooth. I also had a badly fractured skull and quite a bad uh, bleed on the brain. 14 broken bones in total, so I was, I was pretty much in a bad way. I received a phone call saying that David had been in a smash and that it was touch and go. And I was quite shocked and taken aback. And, I rang the hospital to see how he was and then I rang two, three times a day, then visiting the hospital more or less every day. First time I went, I didn't recognise him. His face was pretty swollen and he was pretty banged up and, and quite a mess and he'd lost loads of weight. So it, it was just such a change in such a short space of time. So you could tell from that that he'd smashed himself up pretty badly. It is very emotional because we all think we're indestructible and then something like this happens to one of your close friends and you see how badly smashed up they are and you think, I'm the same age as this man and you know, it, we don't bounce as well as we used to do so yeah. you just need, you know, you just need to slow it down a bit and just take things a bit steadier and take life a lot more seriously. From what I understand from all the police reports and the witness reports and everything else, the care that I received from the Northwest Air Ambulance Charity was absolutely crucial in getting me to hospital alive. Basically, I owe the Northwest Air Ambulance Charity my life. There's no two ways about that. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the Northwest Air Ambulance Charity. Um, without them, I wouldn't simply be here. I couldn't believe that they're run entirely by charitable donations. I just assumed that the government paid for it. So people really need to understand that uh, without their donations, we wouldn't have a Northwest Air Ambulance Charity. No, I mean, it took me quite a long time to get back on a bike and I thought I would never ride a bike again, to be honest. I, I thought that was it, me done with it. But nine months later, I thought, well, I'll just have a little ride around the, the car park on one of the ones at work. And I did, and I thought, there's nothing to worry about here. Get back on it. So yeah, I'm back on it, big style now. I'm recovering from my injuries pretty well now. I've had another operation on my shoulder. I've probably got a few more operations to come. But on the whole, I'm on the way to recovery. And best of all, I'm back on a bike.